So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Today, we have a lot going on, but the first thing I need to do is get on the T25 and do some mowing. You guys stay tuned. We'll see what we can get into today. About two videos back, we did a poll on what you guys wanted to see next, and it was butternut. A few people voted for cedar, but most of you guys wanted to see the butternut, and I did too. Now, we will saw up that cedar. I think I'm going to do a timber frame over here on one of my drying stacks, so more to come on that later. This is butternut. Now, I got this across the state line about a week ago over at the big log yard. And something interesting about this log and the rest of the butternuts that I brought over, I got four total, is they were logged with a helicopter. And what I mean is they were cut in the forest, they use a helicopter because of the terrain to get them out, bring them over to a landing, and from the landing they go to the log yard. I didn't get any footage of the helicopter logging going on, but that's been going on up in Norton, Virginia for the past few weeks. And I wish I could have saw it happening, but I couldn't get close to it. They won't let guys like me close to stuff like that, especially with a drone. When you got helicopters flying in the air, that's not a good idea. I'm doing eight quarter slabs on it. And let me show you guys the end grain over here and my strategy on today's saw. Over here on the operator's side, if we take a measurement on the width, the way we're gonna saw it, 19 inches on the far end down there, it's 18 inches. Now check out this large check right here, right through the middle, right through the pith. Now normally I would ignore something like this because I'm usually grade sawing or doing slabs and I want something to be as wide as it can be and I kind of ignore a crack like this. But in this case, I better not because this same check is on the other end of the log. So let that be a good lesson for you guys out there sawing. If you have a large check on your face that you're sawing into, you make sure you look on the other side and if it's in the same place, there's a pretty good chance that fractures all the way down the middle of your log. That probably happened when the tree was harvested more than likely. I hardly ever do see a check on one end that runs the entire length of the log, unless it's not anchor sealed and left on the ground for a long period of time, such as uh, hickory. Hickory's bad to do that. I got some hickory over here that checked all the way through the middle on three different planes. Nasty stuff, I tell you, nasty stuff sometimes. Butternut is something we don't see around here very often. And when you do see it, nine times out of 10, people mistaken it for walnut, even at the big log yards. And they assume that's what it is. And it goes in the walnut pile and you'll never know it. So it's a good find. And these eight quarter slabs would usually be going to my buddy Curtis Buchanan for chair seats, but they're not gonna be wide enough. So I'm gonna use them for something around here in about a year after we kill and dry them. On the sawmill, we'll run the Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia. If you want those blades, give him a call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. <laughs> 